In this video, we will look at how to use the customers and calendar functions within Register, which form the Customer Relationship Manager, or CRM. The Customers and Calendar buttons are only available to Register Plus users that want to make use of the Customer Relationship Manager. These allow you to view and manage your customers, as well as book customer appointments. The CRM can be configured in the web portal to match the needs of your business including what information to record about your customers and how many text reminders to send customers for their appointments. For example, if you are a salon, you might want to record the customer's preferred stylist or the date of their last colour test. If you are a bike shop, you might record the make of their bike and the next service date. And if you are a restaurant, you might want to record any allergies or table preferences. There are two main elements to the CRM. The first section is customers, which you can access from the main menu. From this screen, you can create new customers, search for existing customers and view their details. View previous and future appointments as well as associated transactions. You can also edit the customer details, create a new appointment and assign the customer to a transaction. To create a new customer, tap the New Customer button at the bottom of the screen. This will open the New Customer form. To enter customer details, this is just a case of tapping the field and entering the information. Items that start with an asterisk denote mandatory fields. Your customer details screen may contain different data than this example, as this can be configured in the web portal. Once you have completed all the relevant information, tap the Save button. You can also search for a customer by entering their name or scanning a barcode that matches the customer ID. The search results will be listed in the table below. Tap on the appropriate customer to view their details. The customer details will load by default. In the right hand table, you can also tap the Appointments tab to view a list of all appointments the customer has booked. Appointments in grey are for previous appointments, whereas green appointments are for ones set in the future. You can view the appointment details by tapping the View button. To view the customer's previous transactions, tap the Transactions tab. This will provide a list of all transactions that have been linked to the customer. Tap View to see the journal from that transaction and tap the Close button when you are done. To edit an existing customer's details, tap the Edit Details button found above the right-hand table. This will open the customer details form we saw previously, but with the information pre-entered. Make any changes as we did before and tap the Save button. To book a new appointment for the customer, tap the New Appointment button. This will take you to the calendar screen. This table has rows for every hour and will have columns for either particular staff members, such as stylists and consultants, or a list that has been configured in the web portal, such as tables. You can change the date by tapping the arrows at the top of the screen, or by selecting the date from the calendar. You can quickly jump back to today by tapping the Today button. After finding an available date and time that works for the customer, tap in the corresponding cell which will change to blue. Tap again to open the Appointment Details window. The Appointment Details window allows you to record details about the appointment, as well as refine the time and duration. Tap Save to create the appointment. If configured, your customer will receive a confirmation text message as well as some reminder messages before the appointment. Finally, on the customer screen, we can also associate the customer to the current transaction. To do this, simply tap the Link to Transaction button above the right hand table. You are then taken to the register screen, but the customer name will appear at the top of the journal showing who the customer is for this transaction. Proceed with the sale as you normally would. You can also associate customers to the transaction from the register screen. You can do this at any point during a transaction by tapping the plus icon in the Select a Customer box at the top of the journal. This will then display a new window where you can create a new customer or search for an existing one. In this example, we will search for a customer and tap Assign. Once the customer has been added, their name will appear at the top of the journal. You can remove the customer by tapping the minus icon before the name and then confirming the action by tapping Remove. Moving back to the main menu, you can also access the calendar at any time by tapping the Calendar button. This will give us the same screen we saw earlier when creating an appointment. This is useful for checking availability as well as what is booked in for the upcoming days. As before, you can scroll around and change the days using the calendar controls at the top of the screen. You can create an appointment from the calendar screen. Like we did before, select a time slot so it turns blue. Tap again and you will see the customer search screen where you can create a new customer or search for an existing one. In this case, we will search for a customer and then tap the assign button. 
Now we enter the appointment details as we did before and tap save to create the appointment. Finally, you can also view and edit booked appointments by tapping the appointment in the calendar. This will open the appointment details screen we saw earlier. You can remove the appointment, make changes, as well as view the customer details if you need to contact them for any reason. Further information on the CRM and its functionality can be found in your user manual. If you still have any questions, please get in touch with your solution provider who will be able to offer further assistance.